Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja Smart Double Oven, model number DCT451. Now I was given this oven to me free from Ninja, so I'm going to kind of talk about it and then I'm actually going to cook some salmon and some crescent rolls. So first thing, this oven is kind of big, but it's got two different chambers. So if you want to just open the top one, you're going to press this button and just the top one opens. Okay, so then we can close that, and if you pull this whole lever, then both oven lids come open. Now inside, we do have a tray that we can cook on, and we got a rack. The top one also has this crumb tray. Now the bottom one doesn't have the crumb tray, but you can move the top crumb, tr crumb tray down to the bottom. We've got this. We can position this rack in two different spots. And then the bottom one only, this is an air fryer basket, you have to put it in the middle. Anytime you're going to do air frying, it has to be in the bottom oven, and, and there's the basket you're going to use. Okay, so let's take a look on the inside. It does have a light switch. You can turn on and off the light. There is a light in the top and the bottom. It goes out after a certain amount of time, but there's what the bottom oven looks like. Now, the top one's a little different. It's got these radiant bars that heat up, and that's how it heats up. Now, the top one does not do air fry. You've got different modes, broil, toast, bagel, and that, but air fry is only in the bottom oven. And then the top oven, there's even some of those radiant heaters up at the top of the oven. So these cooking pans, they have kind of like a non-stick surface to them. So again, when you want to close the oven, you can open just the top one like that. Now this one does come with a smart temp cooking probe. Now I cooked a whole chicken about, they said only a four pound can fit in there, but we put a five pound uh, whole, tur whole chicken in there with the meat probe in there, the temperature probe, and it turned out wonderful. Um, it's got a little plug-in in here on the side. So you're gonna stick this into the chicken breast or any other, like a steak if you're cooking. You're gonna plug this into right here. And so we plug it in right here. Now the temperature probe is only for the bottom oven. You can't use the temperature probe in the top oven. And then it talks about, you can, it just sits in here. Like when you got it in your meat, I ran mine, like the temperature probe, I ran it up kind of here. And then you just close the door and it does seal around it. Or you could put it in like right over here, like that. I found going in the top was fine, but either on the side, you're not, it's not pinching it, but it does seal. And again, there's specific locations you're gonna put this temperature probe. And then you, it will stop the, the uh, cooking once the temperature, internal temperature reaches what it should be. Okay, so it's got a big power button here. You're gonna turn it on, it's gonna say hello. We've got this bottom button that's for the bottom oven, top for the top. Again, press the top, I mean the bottom here. So again, press the bottom button. You use this dial. When the bottom button is, is lit, you can dial it, go to whole roast, air fryer. I did the whole roast on the chicken breast and we did the preset. When you hit the preset, that means it's gonna use this temperature probe and it's got certain presets in here for the uh, internal temperature that it wants to reach. And, and when you do chicken, it's only got one temperature. It's gonna be, um, and that is well done for chicken. And then you can do the done, you can change the doneness and you can do a manual one also. But I'm not gonna be doing this tonight. I'm gonna be taking this out. So on the top, I'm gonna be doing baking and on the bottom, I'm gonna be doing baking but with two different foods. So I'm gonna make sure there's no transfer of smell or taste. So I'm gonna press the top button. And now when I use this knob here, I can change it. I'm gonna to go to bake and then I can change time or no, the temperature that's, I'm gonna do three, I'm gonna do 380 and I can do time. I'm gonna do 12 minutes. Now let's do the bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bake. Let's go down to conventional bake right there. Press the temperature. I'm gonna do 375 and time. I'm gonna do 20 minutes. Now, I've got two different times. I got a top time and a bottom time. You can program this so that both foods will get done at the same time, even though they're different times. That's what the smart finish is. But I have to press this button. That light has to light up. Now, that doesn't work sometimes. If you're using the temperature probe and you're doing a temperature cook as far as when the internal temperature you can't do the smart finish because it doesn't know an exact time of when the food's gonna get done. But when you're doing timed cooks and without the smart probe, you can use this smart finish. So now all you're gonna do is press, this is the big button, press start. Now it's gonna, it's gonna preheat both of these ovens first and preheating is very important, it says. 
but this has the word, the top one has the word hold, the bottom one has the word preheat. Okay, so again, I got my crescent rolls. I'm not gonna be ready, because this the top oven's on hold. I got my salmon all thawed out, marinated. I'm gonna be putting the salmon on the bottom. Now, I love ninjas. They come with these really nice, um, this is a cookbook, but it's also got some really detailed pictures on how to use it. Very, very specific. I mean, I love how they even tell you which trays can go exactly where. Um, these are just very, very valuable to come along with it. And then at the end, they do give you how to make different recipes. And the recipes are just really good. Some are for beginners, some are a little more complex, but these are, this is just very nice. And so the top oven, it even talks about you can do toast. That's why you've got, you can do toast and bagel and you've got different shades. But when we did the whole chicken, we did the whole roast. Okay, so this one, it, it did beep at me. I'm gonna put the salmon in over here. Okay, so I'm gonna get this out. Be careful, this will be hot. The fans are still going. I'm gonna put the salmon on the pan. Okay, I've got my salmon on. Now I gotta push this back in. Be careful. Close this. Now let's check on the top. It has not turned on yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, get the pan out. Okay, so this top tray, I put just a little bit of canola oil. Here's the crescent rolls. I'm gonna put the crescent rolls on here. Okay, so I got the crescent rolls ready to go. But again, you'll notice this still says hold. And now I've got a countdown is going for the salmon already. So let's just take a look at the oven now. Be careful, this will get hot when the top oven comes on. This does get a little hot. Here's what the side looks like. Here's what the back of it looks like. Now it does say it's 1,800 watts. We do have a little bit of hot air coming out here. And over here on this side, that's just a magnet holding that temp probe. That's like an intake. I can tell there's a fan there and it's drawing air in. It's got a really heavy duty cord and it is three prong. So I got the lights turned off. I want you to see the light. You know, it does an okay job. It just doesn't stay on, it goes out automatically. And again, I'm using the Smart Finish. I got the Smart Finish light lit. This is on hold, so it's gonna count down and then it's gonna turn this preheat the top oven. Okay, so once it got to the 12 mark, now the top one is ready to go. And it does feel like it is relatively hot. Let's put the, the rolls in, close it. So now both clocks are counting down at the same time. I can change the temperature if I'd like, so if I press this, I could use the dial. I could change that to temperature. Same with the bottom one. I could set the temperature a little different if I wanted to. So you can change the time. Even though I've got this on smart finish, say you notice something's getting done a little quicker, you can press the time button and it will change the time a little bit. And then it puts, to get them back in sync, it puts one of them on hold. That's kind of a neat feature. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's take a look. So we're at 134 already for that. And I do notice the top oven, it doesn't have that air circulating in it, so things take a little bit longer in the top. The bottom is really, really a good cooker. Um, see, I've got this on bake, and I've got this on conventional bake. Um, again, there is a fan in here. Things just cook quicker down here. I'm noticing up here, you know, this is hot, but there's no real air circulation. It's just relying on those um, heating elements So I want to show you this is the chicken we cooked last night. It was so juicy now the outside skin did get a little crispy Which was fine. It tasted good, but the in cooking chicken and getting it done at the right temperature It just seemed like it kept all the juices and flavors in again with the whole chicken in there um, It took about 45 minutes with that temperature probe. It doesn't really tell you a time It just it just you can monitor the temperature. It shows you what temperature it's at what the target temperature is, so you can kind of see how it's going, but it doesn't give you a time when you're doing the temperature probe, but the chicken, it just tasted delicious. Okay, so let's take a closer peek. There's how they're doing. And let's do that here. And these are really cooking fast. We're already at 138, 135, 141. Okay, so let's take a look at the crescent rolls. They are getting brown. And when I started messing with the times, the smart finish went away. So if you start messing with those times in the, too much, it will turn the smart finish off. 
147. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the time down on the bottom to about a minute and let these have to go, the crescent rolls have to go a little bit longer. So just some quick measurements real quick, about 13 and a half inches tall. Left to right, you're almost 18 and a quarter. Now front to back, you're looking at only about 14 and a half, but the lid or the door has to come open and that's right at 26 and a half. And the unit does have some weight to it. So the bottom one ended, my top one is still going. And I can tell the fan has turned off. It's just made very well. I can't believe how well the bottom one's cooking. Again, it cooks a little bit different. Yeah, this is, these are well done. Okay, so let's get the salmon off. Yeah, it's, they're still really, I like that they're still, they're not dried out. Even though sometimes air fryers can dry them out a little bit, not so much on this. So the bottom one, the fan did, even though the bottom one ended, the fan did run, it went down to like a lower setting. It ran for about another minute and now I don't hear a fan. It's really, really quiet. All we're doing is cooking the top. And again, when you're cooking with the top, it doesn't use a fan. It's just those radiating. Yeah, I think these are about done. Okay, so let's take these out. Okay, so both of them have ended. I tasted one of the crescent rolls and I didn't taste any fish smell whatsoever. So it does keep it, it separates it. That's very, very nice. Um, this is gonna be a really nice supper. I think as long as you keep in mind, I, like the other night, we were gonna do french fries in the top and that chicken in the bottom. Well, you can't air fry in the top. So we ended up trying to cook them in the oven. The, fr the french fries on the top didn't turn out very well. They needed to be in the air fryer in the bottom. So as long as you get kind of your, what you're gonna be using where, uh, get that figured out and realize that the top can't do air fry. And the top is just a little bit limited, but man, that bottom part, there's something about going on in that bottom part that they're really, it's really cooking really good. I'm just super excited about this product. I'm very happy that I got it. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.